You see a dolphin has a beak which sticks out at the front of their head and this makes them appear as though they are always smiling. And they have cone-shaped teeth. Porpoise, on the other hand, have a blunt head and spade-shaped teeth. Another big difference. Right hand side, back on the surface. Right beside, right side, left hand side up ahead. Now, what are we looking at this morning? Dolphins or porpoise? Well, what's the difference? A lot of people call them the same thing, like they are the same exact animal, but they're not. There's quite a few differences. We are on. We are at Cape May. The Cape May Whale Watcher for uh, dolphins. Dolphins are just up ahead of us, right off the tip of the rock pile here. Keep your eyes open for calves, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we, we mentioned on the way out there that Cape May County is the northernmost calfing grounds for the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. Well, what does that mean? It means this is where the dolphins go to have their babies. So you're looking for a baby dolphin. So they're right tight to mama's side. Left-hand side coming this way. Typically, they're going to be around 18 to 24 inches in length darker in coloration than the rest of the dolphins. If they were born in the last 24 hours, they'll actually be jet black. They're out, closer to the beach. Then you got this group swimming underneath of us here. See where they're going to come back up. You may have noticed by now, dolphins are in constant motion. They're not going to stay in one place for very long. They're certainly not going to pose for you. you got to be fast with those camera folks. right hand side and real close right side <clears throat> there was a calf with that group right side yep there it is right side that calf looks to be maybe 